the first iteration of laws that came out, not just in Illinois, but across the country in, in individual states, uh, what they were doing, and let me back you up even one more step to give you a little more of a perspective. When we're talking about synthetic drugs, we're usually talking about two different things, right? We're talking about synthetic marijuana, most of which is what you see here uh, in those packages from a distance look like old-fashioned film canisters. Uh, and you're talking about another product that is either, you know, similar to synthetic cocaine or synthetic methamphetamine, a powdery uh, cocaine-like substance. Those are purely made by chemicals being applied to either the plant material or some sort of a powder material. Uh, what they allege is that you will get a similar sort of high uh, to if you had taken marijuana or cocaine or methamphetamine. Uh, the reality is, though, uh, you have no idea what kind of chemicals you're actually putting in your body. And not only do you not know what the chemicals are, but you have no idea what the strength of those chemicals is going to be, uh, such that you end up with results, sometimes not even from chain smoking, the way the Litchfield chief described. Uh, sometimes it's just one time, because you may have ended up with a batch of this uh, where it's 500 times the strength uh, of what you would have anticipated uh, if you had been smoking marijuana.